So for today's project, we're going to try and make a sculpture of a bee. I've got some great photographs here. And from what I know of insects anyway, we need to start off with the three main sections of the body. So we've got the head, we've got the thorax and we've got the abdomen. So on this scrap piece of card here, I'm going to draw three shapes uh, that we can use to build those out of. So we need a fairly circular shape for the thorax in the middle. We need the abdomen to be a little bit longer and more oval. And then we need a head shape too. So we've cut our three shapes out just roughly. And now we're going to try and make them into little three dimensional shapes that all join together. So I'm going to cut some slits around the outside of them, push them together and I'm going to attach them onto the background. Now I've just gone around the outside of those shapes with a blunt pencil just to push all of that down into the right place and I've also drawn on the three legs that are on the other side of the body and also the one antenna that's on the other side of the head. The ones in the foreground we'll put on afterwards. So to do this we're going to roll up some tape and all I'm going to do is take a piece of tape and I'm going to twist it in my fingers and then when it gets roughly into a kind of thread shape, I'm going to put it in my hands and give it a roll together. And then these little shapes we can use and we can twist them into shape to attach on to build those features. Another way to use the tape to create a different texture is to scrunch it up. So this central part of the body is quite furry on a bee. So what I'm going to do is take some more tape and almost push it together so it's a little bit wrinkled up. And I'm just going to start to build some of these wrinkled shapes onto that area of the body. Right, that's looking a little bit more furry on that central piece. So now we're going to go back a stage. We're going to take some more of the rolled up tape and we're going to try and build the extra antennae and also the other three legs just to make them look like they're more in the foreground. OK, so now we need uh, an eye, just one eye to go on the one side and also two wings so that we can make it look like they're open. So I've done the same process with the eye as we did for the initial body parts. What I've done is I've cut some slits in the shape so that we can stick that on. And with the wings, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of crunch them up a little bit so that they've got a bit more texture to them. So I'm going to score them with some scissors, just scratch some random lines into them sorts of different directions and then we'll give it a squeeze and a squash together and that then will give it a little bit more texture and make it look a little bit more like the texture of the wings that we want and then we're going to attach these onto some more of the rolled up tape and then fix them into place Now, before we come to paint or colour this, I'm going to try and just neaten up the background and also strengthen it a little bit by using some um, watered down glue, which I've got here in a pot, and also just some white paper. You could use anything. It could be an old envelope that you're tearing up. This is just a piece of normal photocopy paper. So I'm going to tear this into strips and then I'm going to try to paper mache all the bits in the background that I don't want to see. And also, while I've got the glue, I'll let a little bit of it run across the surface of the actual sculpture to hold that in place, too. Now that's done, we need to leave it to dry. Once it's dry, we can start to think about colours, but this needs a few hours just to strengthen and harden off. Well, this has dried really strong, so this is ready to paint now. So first of all, I'm going to put a wash of a sky blue colour in the background, and then we can try and work on some of the details.
Now, for the colours on the bee itself, I'm going to go back to the photographs that I've got here. And quite often with something like this, it's easier to start off with the lighter colours and then add the darker things on later. So I'm going to work with just the sort of oranges and yellows to start off with, put those in, and then we'll add the blacks and browns later. And just as a finishing touch, using some white paint, I'm just going to add a few really bright highlights. And there we have it. That's the finished piece. That's our finished bee sculpture.